Hey y'all, it's your girl Perp, and today we are vlogging my first day in Paris, also known as Paris, France, and it is day one. Now you see it is a long flight, it's nine hours, I've arrived in Paris, and we actually stopped at the currency exchange, and then we got our taxi to our hotel which was an hour long so i hope you guys enjoy my first day i will be vlogging this vlog in sections so please be prepared to tune in this is going to be a series at this point but <laughs> it's just because it was so long so i want to welcome you guys back if you're the gang what it do what it does and also welcome you to my channel mm -hmm. if this is your first time viewing and visiting i hope you guys enjoy it so much as much as i had fun also i'll be giving you pretty much tips and details along the way so make sure you stay tuned also like and subscribe as well and if you want to comment and ask questions please do so this is just me basically uh proofing our room because your girl does not mess with the dead bugs okay so i'm giving you a view of our room now as i was doing this i was actually cleaning as well so you see the bag um i did not play with them i asked them for new sheets they also provided us with our own personalized house shoes so that was cute or whatever um, also, you'll basically just be viewing the scenery. It's so cute. The only thing about Paris hotels is they are very much small. So please be prepared to be sharing the space in order to access your luggage, whatever you need. Also, this is where we stayed. So you can see um, it was a beautiful experience. I'm glad I got to experience. And now I want to give you guys the full details and tour of my actual experience. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. Hey, y'all. So. Thank you. Why the fuck did I forget my motherfucking lashes? No, I got the lashes. I forgot the fucking glue. But what? I hate you. <laughs> but I look cute. It's a no lash look, I guess. Period. Yo, that traffic is.
So basically, after we ate the spaghetti at UC, we took a nap, came back, got up, and we went to McDonald's. It was right on the corner of our hotel. You can see here their menu. You can change it to English or whichever preferred language. I got my food to go because it was packed. I think where we were staying, it was basically like if you're from Milwaukee, our water street, basically their water street. So it was jam pack so i just went ahead and ordered ahead and you can just see i'm giving you a glimpse of their menu i was very much shocked that they had different desserts which was crazy to me like look at that they got macarons and stuff and donuts like that was crazy um their currency is in euros obviously so it shows a bit more i feel like the american franchises of restaurants that we have at home are basically much more not expensive but higher pricing than ours in America but I was just giving you a glimpse of their menu so you can take a look here see what they have and it was going so fast so if you see the same things popping up don't mind me I was really just looking as I was recording but it's pretty much more than what we have but they don't have everything that we actually have too as well, if that makes sense, but yeah. Hello. So I don't want my hair. I'm just like getting ready for bed or whatever. And um Yeah, I just wanna tell you guys about my day, how things are going. So as of right now, it is 12.15 a.m. 
here. And um, technically, back home in Milwaukee and in Dallas, it is 5.15 p.m. So that's crazy. The time difference is definitely something serious. Like, um, I don't know how we're managing, but we're managing at this point. I should grab my brush, but you know what? I'm gonna curl it again tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't even matter. It's just lazy girl, get ready to go to bed with me type thing. So today was pretty cool. Um, let's just start from when we actually aborted the flight. It was about 4.55 p.m. on Thursday. We didn't make it to Paris until about 8.36. Basically, got our luggage and everything at, I believe, closer to like 9, 9.15 or whatever. Now, I want to give you a little insight about um leaving the airport because this is what i was watching youtube videos on and i just feel like this is really important because people can fall for these type of things so once you get your luggage and everything like that you basically ignore that you basically like go out uh like the way to get to the taxis but during your way to the taxis there are going to be people standing there asking, do you need a taxi? Do you need a cab? Please ignore them because what they will do is overcharge you. They're not with the taxi company. They're their own personal drivers. They basically want to take you to where you go. They give you a rate before you get in the car. Once you're in the car, you're driving, you get to your destination, they upcharge the rate. So, if they are hounding you, just say no, no thank you, um, or no mercy, um, so just keep walking. The airport people that work there, they're gonna lead you to the actual real taxi, so keep that in mind, hold on. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So, um, before you even get to that point, basically, you go down, you get checked in because, you know, we foreigners to them basically, outsiders coming in. So we gotta go through the like scanner thing, like literally before you even walk in it, it wants you to put your passport in and then you have to go in, it scans you and then you go out of that and then they give you a stamp. So I have my Perry, 2024 stamp and I'm just so excited about that like that was the best part uh and then they take you to the shuttle first of all the shuttle is very much packed they try to get as many people on the shuttle as they can and once you're in there it's like they're just taking you basically to get your bags once we go get our bags that's when you run into those taxi scammers that's what we gonna call them taxi scammers because that's basically what they're trying to do so fun fact while getting your stuff and leaving the airport go to the official taxi cab drivers and then i was still even a little skeptical i'm gonna be honest because i was like hold up because they have they don't have like uber and lyft it's like Theirs is like G7, and the other one is like um, goats or boats or something like that. I have to, I'll come back with that information, but basically, yeah, like it's not like the US with Uber and Lyft and stuff like that. I mean, there's that's basically like their Uber and Lyft, but other than that, you can get a taxi or the metro train bus but i i would just recommend since you know if you knew i would recommend just get a taxi because our um our hotel was like i want to say an hour it took us an hour so we got our stuff after all that we got our stuff and we got the taxi it was about 9 30 and 
about 10 30 is when our arrival time was for our hotel so basically we got to the hotel and, and you know pretty much kind of just checked in but we couldn't officially get in until they had the rooms clean but they cleaned it about 11 o'clock so we were pretty much in our room about 11 15 which was pretty good because you know traveling for nine hours the flight was nine hours like you know you want to get in the shower you want to get refreshed you know get into some new clothes do your hair makeup whatever so yeah so that was good we still made it perfect timing because we pretty much had reservations for Louis Vuitton. It was their museum that they had. Pretty much an exhibit, of course. Um, and that was a good experience because even though, if you know, you know, um, I learned more about Louis Vuitton going through there. And it was pretty good. Like I'll post clips and everything. Like you'll get the experience that I've got. They said that we can record, but we couldn't have the flash on. So I had to keep that in mind as well. So I'll show you guys the majority of that in the next few clips of what I experienced. It's pretty good. Um, in regards to that as well, we were supposed to go to the cafe, but like y'all, we didn't eat at all once we got off the flight. Like they fed us and everything. I'll give the food like, No shade, a five out of ten. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it was okay. I mean, it's flight food, so what can I say, you know? But um, it, it overall, I mean, I was grateful, you know. Like they fed us, so it is what it is. But um, yeah. So basically, we didn't eat when we got there. And we checked in and everything. Big mistake because we really should have, you know? Like, that probably would have, like, saved us a little bit. But um, we were starving by the time we got done with the museum. And it was a cafe. But the line was so long, you guys. So we just did not end up going to the Louis Vuitton Cafe, which I was kind of sad about. But... It's okay. I mean, I still got the experience, you know, so it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so we ended up going to, like, this little restaurant on the way back. Uh, and it was okay. I mean, it wasn't the best that I've had, but it was okay. It was better. It could have been worse. So, it was alright. But other than that, we came back. We were so jet lagged. We ended up taking a nap and the nap went overboard. So like the itinerary for today was just like womp, womp, womp after. But we pretty much like got a few things that were, gosh, just want to make up. We got a few things that like we pretty much, you know, figured we was going to do. And we could just throw it in for tomorrow. I really should have got my makeup wipes, but honestly, y'all, I'm just being real lazy. And I'm finna wash my face in the shower anyway, so, you know, don't don't think this is the skin routine. I mean, this is part of it, but don't judge me. It'll be better tomorrow. I'm just still tired, okay? But other than that, like, it was pretty good. I mean, tomorrow will be better. So, you have a full day vlog tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for bed. Um, Yeah. So I'll see you guys in the morning, get refreshed up, and then, yeah, we'll start the day. So, love you. Bye. Hey, y'all. So basically, this was me getting ready for bed. I took my shower, and now I am spraying the bed with alcohol because, girl, the key is spray that bed, okay? But you can see their traffic is still ongoing. This was probably about 1.30 a.m., and this was Friday night, so you can just see how they like to party, honey. But I hope you guys loved the first day vlog. Um, also, make sure you keep tuning in because, again, I said this is a series and I will be dropping the next few videos. So make sure you stay tuned in, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Bye.